Hey everyone, Derek here, and welcome to episode 3. If this is your first time tuning into this series, then basically, I traveled all across Japan, and what you're about to see was the beginning of Phase 1, Okinawa, and Kyushu. I spent about 10 days in Tokyo before heading out here. The previous two episodes are all about that. It's now time for the vacation within the vacation. After landing at Naha Airport, I took a shuttle bus to American Village in Chatan, Okinawa, and checked into my hotel. I'm in my third hotel, my first in Okinawa. Yeah, let's have a sick room tour. This is basically a condo in Tokyo. Uh, we're just gonna start right here in the main room. Some drawers here, more than enough space, two beds. Nice desk, nice big TV, whole couch, got a nice table and some chairs. And even a balcony with a view. I'm in the American Village, so there's a lot of Western restaurants and shops around here. But yeah, I was not expecting uh, this kind of room, such a view. I have no idea where the beach is, but I'd like to find that. I'm only here for one night. <laughs> Shoe storage. Flip-flops. Guess if you're going to the pool or the beach. God. A little bit. And the sinks. Nice little outfits, robes, I guess, or just tops of some sort. Shower, unit bath. Very similar to the hotel mats that I stayed at for the first night, or first week, rather. I grabbed an Okinawan staple, which is Spam and Egg Onigiri from the Lawson in my hotel. And after that, my first stop was the beach, because it seemed like the right thing to do on a tropical island. I wanted to go while the sun was still out, but it was already late afternoon, and it was actually starting to rain. The water was a bit chilly considering this was early March, so there weren't a lot of people going into the water, it was mostly just people hanging around on the sand. But regardless, it was pretty cool to watch the sun start to set from here. Shortly after that, I hopped into a cab to go to the Eon Mall Okinawa Raikon for one reason and one store alone. Can you guess what it is? Yep. So uh, first day in Okinawa, pretty friggin' good. It doesn't feel like I did a whole lot, but I really did. Uh, I flew in, got in around noon, got to my hotel at around two, took a little bit of a nap, then hung out on the beach for a bit. Then I went to the Aeon Mall Okinawa Raikon, uh, which had the Pokemon Center Okinawa, which of course, you know, my goal is to hit all the Pokemon Centers. So it was, today or never, really. So I took a cab there and back. Uh, it was a little pricey to do so, but um, well worth it, uh, I think, anyway, because they at least had an exclusive 
Pikachu keychain, uh, which is something that I collect. I was a little disappointed that Yokohama didn't have uh, like a Sailor Pikachu or something like that, since they had like a you know giant plastic model of a Sailor Pikachu. They also had um, V Star Universe, uh, which I really didn't think I would find because uh, I thought that was sold out everywhere. What's interesting is that they actually uh, remove the plastic seal from it so that you don't uh, try to resell it for a higher value. Uh, but I was able to pick up a box of that and so I'll probably do a quick opening of that at some point. Um, but right now I'm gonna eat. Uh, I got some Korean fried chicken from Mom's Chicken. Uh, I'm in here in American Village, so um, if you're in Chatan, uh, Okinawa, uh, definitely check it out. It looks really good. Uh, there's a lot of good reviews on it. Um, so yeah, I hope it uh, lives up to the reputation. Uh, and of course, I got the Orion uh, craft beer, or Okinawa's craft uh, beer. I had to try it up. Come by. Nice. It's nice and light. Yeah, it goes down super easy. Very nice. Um, that happens. Um, yeah, so behind my hotel too, there's like this whole like walkway along the pier. Yeah, it's really cool, I went for a quick walk there and uh, I saw that they had a blue seal ice cream. So I'm gonna have to go and give that a shot because apparently there's not one where I'm going next. Um, and blue seal's like a staple as well in Okinawa. So I figured, yeah, I should probably give that a shot. I think they close at nine, so I better, you know, eat and then go. Let's give this a shot. Eat the dakimas. Mm. I knew the cheese one was like a, kind of like a dry, Seasoning. Um, like it wasn't a saucy sauce. Seasoning. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a dry. Seasoning. Yeah, it's just kind of a dry. Oh my god. Flaky. Seasoning. Piece of chicken. Fuck. So I didn't expect there to be so much flavor, but yeah, no, there's a ton of cheesy flavor in it. But uh, it's really good and nice and hot, and I quite like it. Um, all right, I'm gonna. Oh shit. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go eat and then. Uh, See if I can get some ice cream. They were closed. Pretty dope view. Really fucking love. But it is pretty. It reminds me a little bit of Vegas and California put together. Another hotel in Okinawa. This is the Royal View Hotel Chiraomi. It's in Motobu, Okinawa, and it's right by Emerald Beach and the Chiraomi Aquarium, uh, which is the main attraction here and the reason why I came all the way up here. We're gonna start off with the washroom. Typical unit bath. You have a toilet. Everything kind of looks a bit yellowed. I mean, I could tell right away that this hotel was uh, pretty aged, but Usually that's fine. So we got a desk, kettle, little mini fridge as well, and a seat. Looks pretty raggedy and old. Maybe the only concerning thing is this notice here, which says that we're surrounded by nature, therefore bugs can come into the room, which is not something that I'm a fan of. Uh, you got a couch here, got a much Longer couch here. Uh, the view. Let's crank the ND filter. 
at some of the trees. There's the pool, which is not open right now because it's kind of out of season. Yeah, so this is the old room. Not too bad. Pretty spacious, it just feels a little old. I'm charging the drone batteries, <clears throat> which I didn't do ahead of time because I'm an idiot. Unfortunately, the weather kept me from doing anything too interesting. Uh, it was crazy windy and rained all afternoon and evening, so I just went for a walk in the area. The beach was closed, and uh, yeah, you can see a lot of the public area was barricaded off. The waves were just getting too intense. Um, it's worth mentioning that everything in Motobu is very spaced out, like a suburb, so having a car is definitely recommended. I didn't rent one, so I just ended up grabbing a taco rice from the Lawson by the hotel and stayed in. I don't know how well you can see this, but these waves are insane. It's super windy here in Motobu, probably all of Okinawa. Right now, I ain't flying the drone. I'm walking over to the aquarium right now. It is raining, it's windy. Winds kind of calmed down a little bit, so that's not so bad, but at least the aquarium's indoors. While I couldn't anticipate the weather when planning this trip, it sort of just worked out that on the rainiest day, I'd end up at Shirami Aquarium. If you've been on my channel for a while, you may have seen I did a couple of drum covers for a show called Shiroi Suna no Aquatope, or Aquatope on White Sand. It's an amazing slice of life based in Okinawa about a group of people working to save their aquarium. It's a kind of slow but super wholesome show. It without a doubt inspired my decision to check out one of Japan's largest and most iconic aquariums. A highlight of the aquarium is the Kuroshiro tank, which is one of the largest in the world, housing a large variety of species, but most notably the whale sharks and manta rays. The aquarium has a bunch of exhibits and some touch stations, and of course a gift shop. They also have humans on display, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I woke up very early in the morning. It was expected to rain yet again, but there was a nice window of opportunity to go out when the winds were calm and get the drone shots that I wanted.
That's it. That's all that's up here. I walked up all those stairs. <laughs> Lawson's not blue here. All right, we're doing a quick hotel room tour. Open closet by the entrance, extra pillow and a robe. The room itself is not terrible. It's bigger than the uh, Henna Hotel. Um, uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my shirt to cover this because this sucks. Yeah, there's a smell that's coming out of here and I don't like it. So. Yeah, you get like a unit bath. Uh, that's the worst one so far. My flight, which is early, early, early. Checking out around 5 a.m. anyway. So I won't be here for very long. <clears throat> I stayed in Kokusai Dori for two reasons. One, it's famously known for its souvenirs, food, bars, and the like. And mostly number two, which is that it was easy to get from here to the airport in the morning. Was four days enough in Okinawa? I certainly felt two days in Motobu was right. I think I could have stayed longer in Naha or Chaten for sure. Um, but yeah, I was super unlucky with the wind and rain this trip for sure. Oh, and uh, I finally got myself some Blue Seal ice cream. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching the Okinawa episode. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in Kyushu for the next one.